how we went from paying 26% interest to recapturing 42% interest using infinite banking. My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. We teach go-getters and entrepreneurs how to own their own lifestyle using the concept of infinite banking. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we come out with brand new videos just like this one. And also check us out on Patreon because our Patreon page is where we teach all exclusive infinite banking content to fit your lifestyle. So if you want to level up your education with infinite banking, then definitely check us out on Patreon. Mm -hmm. We wanted to create this video because a lot of times when it comes to repaying our credit card debt, we end up paying more money in interest than we are led to believe because we don't understand the difference between the volume of interest versus, versus the actual interest rate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna break down one of our credit card bills and I have my notes here, so if you see me <laughs> glancing down, I'm just looking at numbers for a reference. So you may have seen us talk about one of our Amazon credit cards on a previous video where we talked about how we used our policies to pay down credit card debt. Mm -hmm. So in this example, we just wanted to talk about one credit card because the average American has has over $10,000 in credit card debt. So for us, this one credit card was an Amazon credit card and the balance was $3,394.18. Now, the interest rate was 26%. So we knew that we were getting hit over the head with interest, but to be honest, our minimum payment was 105. So it really didn't hurt our pockets on a monthly <laughs> basis to just pay $105 a month. I know that that may sound silly to some of you guys, but for us, this was our personal journey. We were like, we're gonna pay Amazon 105 and we'll be fine with it. But what we didn't realize is that we were going to pay $105 for 56 months mm -hmm. in order for that balance to be paid off. Now, 56 months, that's a long time. That's 4.6 years. Mm -hmm. of just paying $100 a month. And, and that point, that's the key in understanding the volume of interest in which we're paying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because sometimes we just look at the interest rate and for us, 26%, we're like, ooh, that's tough. But 105, that's all we're paying, so we're good, it's mm -hmm. fine. Um, but again, like Darius said, 56 months, that's a long time. Um, I don't even think we've lived in a home for 56 months. So <laughs> uh, just think about that when it comes to your credit card. Um, so now, this is where we actually need to do the math because if our minimum payment is $105, we times that by 56 months, and that equals $5,880. Wow. Do you remember what our balance was? Our balance was $3,394.18. Hmm. So when you subtract the balance versus what we would have paid, that's $2,486 in interest that we were paying to Amazon. Wow, wow. So if you take $2,486 in interest and you divide it by the total amount of cash we would have paid on this insurance on this card which is five thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars you come out to forty two point two seven percent that we actually pay in interest mm -hmm. yeah so the, the biggest thing that we want you guys to take away from this video is to understand that if you have credit cards take out your statements and do the math and figure out how much interest is leaving you on an annual basis right. because once the, the light turned on for us we were like oh my god we have to get rid of Amazon and everybody else as fast as we possibly can so in order for us to do this we got a loan from our policy for the balance the three thousand three hundred ninety four dollars and eighteen cents and we paid off Amazon so where infinite banking comes into play is what are you doing with the cash value in your policy we use the cash value from our policy to pay down a credit card Card, and now that $105 we are paying back to ourselves into our, our separate checkings account at the bank and we're paying 105 every single month for 56 months. Now that's the most important thing when it comes to infinite banking. You have to pay yourself back because what we're doing is we're controlling the banking function mm -hmm. and when you borrow money from the bank or this credit card for example you're going to be paying them prints one interest back and to the and if we use Amazon, it's to the tune of 26% or 42% if you do the math. Yeah. So make sure you are a good, a good banker, a responsible banker, and pay yourself back. 
Absolutely, because guess what? When we pay off credit cards, what would we do with that $105? Mm -hmm. We'd probably eat it, spend it, <laughs> um, you know, blow the money, so to speak. That's right. where I'm going with this, is the whole point about banking, Nelson Nash talks about it all the time, don't steal the peas. Mm -hmm. So if you were paying $105 to Amazon, we need to be just as diligent to then turn around and pay that $105 back to ourselves now that Amazon is out of the picture. So the best part about infinite banking is now that we are firing all these third party institutions out of our lives, all of that interest is coming back to us. And now over the course of 56 months, we will have $5,880 in our personal checkings account. Yes, whenever you're able to cut out the amount of interest that you're paying to someone else and redirect that interest back to yourself, you've improved your situation significantly because now we have $5,880 that's going to be sitting inside of our checking account versus with the credit card company. Mm -hmm. And I know we've, that, that's such a great point. I, I know that we've thrown a ton of numbers at you, so I hope that you're following along. Um, but just to break this down even more. So remember, the $2,486 in interest that we were paying on this Amazon card, all I'm gonna do is just divide that by the 56 months. So basically, every single year, we would have been paying $540.43 to Amazon mm -hmm. in interest. And that's on an annual basis. That's all that I'm breaking it out. So $500 in a year is going to Amazon. And that's just one credit card. Mm -hmm. We have several credit cards. So think about that, multiply that times three, times six, whatever your household credit card um, situation is. That's a lot of interest that you're le that's leaving your household that you will never see again. Mm -hmm. So the thing that we just wanna continue to hit home is just the awareness of your third party debt, all of what, whatever interest is leaving you, make sure that you understand how much that is and what you're doing about it to get it back. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for watching our YouTube channel today. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. And remember to own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.